Custom Widgets just got a major upgrade. Now, if you're not familiar with the Custom Widget, this is a flexible UI component that lets you build your own widget using any library or framework. It's super powerful, but it does require a little bit of front-end experience. At least it did until now. We've just added a new Custom Widget Copilot that can write the code for you. Just tell it what type of widget you want and let the Copilot do all the work. Let's check it out and see what it can do. All right, I'm gonna drag in a new custom widget. And then we'll go to edit the source of the custom widget here. And now there's this new AI tab. So you still have the HTML, CSS, and JS tabs here. And now with the AI tab, you can give it a prompt and it'll write the code for you. So let's try out this editable data grid. We'll try one of the built-in prompts here first, the examples. Oh, okay, that's cool. It actually updated the widget. So I was expecting it to write some code and then we'd have to copy that over there, but it's actually updated each section. Let's check out what it wrote here. So it's using the Glide Data Grid Library, uh, the CSS rather here. And then on the JS side here, it's using React and importing Data Grid. And it's even given us some mock data here. I'm gonna see if it can generate some more. And really what I wanna test is if it's conversational and remembers the message history. So I'm not gonna tell it what widget, just ask it to add some more mock data. And we'll see if it remembers that context. All right, nice. So it is conversational. It remembers that last prompt and you can build on it, which means you can iterate. You could. Give it one prompt, see how it looks, give it some feedback and tell it what to adjust. And you don't have to start from scratch and describe everything. So really useful. This is gonna save a ton of time. I wanna try something a little more advanced. Let's see if it can do a map widget uh, using Leaflet. It's a mapping library. And I wanna see if it just knows about that library and if I can ask like for a specific one. Cause here I didn't tell it what library to use. Ah, nice. Okay, so we got a map, it's interactive. I can drag it, scroll. Looks like I can add new markers. Awesome. Let's see what code it used here. So it's still using React and the leaflet library is just for the map part itself. You can use that in any framework. So it looks like there's a place here for the URL to put in the marker. Um, let's check out the HTML side. Here it's importing the leaflet CSS and JS. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna try one more. Let's do a JSON viewer. And I wanna see if it can do like syntax highlighting and just make it interactive so you can expand and collapse sections. Awesome, all right. Hey, and it's got the syntax highlighting. There's uh, green for the strings and then red for numbers. We can expand the object here. And then this one is an array. Awesome. So this is gonna save so much time building custom widgets. I'm used to having two windows open and copying and pasting back and forth and then trying to do an update and telling it to change something else and copy and paste again. Here you can just type the prompt and keep iterating on it and tell it what to change next. So custom widgets, this was already one of my favorite features and it is so much easier to use and build with now. This is awesome.